your opponent, you might grab the biggest gun off the show. It's just simple as that. How am I going to go into court and say, Woosha, let this case be dismissed. And the, and the judge take me serious. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. But what about when they say that more that you know that moral science is only good for the white man court? You know, uh, you know we need the morals when when we need the paperwork in the court. This moral science just deals with court. Moral science is all encompassing. Man is a manifestation of a law from a higher higher plane of existence. The fall of man, as detailed in the Moorish Quran, the Holy Quran for the Morris, the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America, says the, it documents the fall of man. It speaks about a law in its highest plane, and then the law threw forth seven spirits. The noble Kodra already gave you the breakdown of the seven spectrums of the rainbow which deals in, 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 in uh, the seven tones of music. So who is the law? Like people say, okay, well you saying the law, like who, who's the law? Like, and then they say, you know, that come from a lot, like who's the law and why, and why do we have to say a law? Like, you know, like if, who's the law? The, the Moorish, all right, all right, I'm gonna get to that part. You are a law. A man's ideals is his God. Man's God today, tomorrow is not man's God. We, as a people, as we do today, understood politics. So in that, we created a cult center. And in the center, we would have Amin Ra, ISIS, anybody that would keep moral law in place because religion deals with moral law. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. That's moral law. Those are things that people should live by. I should not covet my neighbor's wife. By saying that you don't want to get into the law and get into politics and get into religion is a slap in your ancestors' face because this is what they did. Muhammad was a moor. So what do you say about people who say the prophet never used the word moral science? I mean, the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple says the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple. <laughs> what happened? Let you, let me, let me, yeah, you know. Yo, they definitely are. You know. That's nonsense. That's, 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 that's nonsense. Complete utter nonsense. And this is their argument. This is this is your little your little argument. And it's they only do this for one because they want to sound important. And they jump to find something to to that sounds good. So you can I mean try to prove somebody wrong. But I mean you just sound ridiculous saying, oh the prophet never said more science. He just made, you know, he just named his organ, uh, I mean, his religious corporation, the Moore Science Temple of America. Wow. Uh, like, just be real with yourself. And just to, to quench the issue, what is Moore Science? Moore Science, you're right, is not Islam. It's not Islamism. Islam is peace. Moore Science is the study of self. That's why when you open your Quran, the first thing it tells you is know thyself and thy father Allah. That is not Islam, that is not Islamism, that's more science, period. Mm. Could you mind telling us what Islamism is? Islamism is, um, it's a political platform. You know, it's, that's when you take your religious tenets and you put them in a political arena. So it's sort of like uh, the same as merging religion and state or church and state together. Right. There, where there, was which, no, no, there was no separation of church and state in Islam. Got it. True. Your religion is your politics. That's right. One body politic, no doubt. No. 
I mean, that, that sums it up. How can you say that you worship Osiris and Ra and all of these all of these deities from the past when they did the same exact thing? They took their religion and incorporated it in law terms it's called codification. They codified it. They created the, they created the laws based on their religion. 42 negative confessions of my eye. That's something that you can live by to stay on a stay on a path. Now if I take the 42 negative confessions of my eye and I expound on them and I create a value of how the people should be governed based on these laws, then I become I become the political leader. I become the pharaoh, the lighthouse, the mouthpiece for whom? For God and the flesh. Same thing when you have a president, a king, a sultan, a dictatorship. Same exact principles. Why are, why are you out there who call yourself black the only people that are disregarding these principles? I told the brother, you need to change the 5% into a 501c3 religious corporation or organization so that you can start getting some protections up in the court. Oh, nah, God. Nah, now I'm safe. <laughs> <laughs> we don't rock with the religious thing. Like, how you gonna get grants? And you know, you, you know, you can you know, pull resources from people that's already broke to nah. try to have your events. You call righteous teachers, God. Yeah. We don't, we, don't, we don't want the white man's money. We let go of you know the saying? We don't want thing. we don't want the, the, the God, the white God, you know what I'm saying? That's how they look at it, you know, and that's 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 terrible. He ain't the white man neither. Exactly. <laughs> you know, the, the, <laughs> the brother denied his own help. You're running an organism. See, you have people out there that speak from their positions and they're working, they're employed somewhere, you know, they're getting money. So, and they have been raised indiv individualistically. Period, I'm God. This is just what it is, I'm God. It doesn't speak to the whole. So these people do not look at everybody else in their organization, only when they see it. And they say what? Unconscious more say, put this bum ass nigga right here. That's what they say. Hmm. If you don't have a program to uplift your people, what is the use? What is the use for gathering every Sunday? The preacher is eating. Some churches will help you with your rent, help you with your bill, depending on what church you're in. You trying to tell me I come? to this gathering once a month and I can't get help with nothing? I just come to show support, buy more stuff because somebody's gonna have a table you set got up problems. somewhere. You got problems, you fix your own problems, God. <laughs> now this is where the indiv individualistic thing comes in that because uh, Dr. Malachi Z. York says, or, or, or York L says, the helping hand is at the end of your own arm. However, the prophet says, if your brother is in, in need, assist him. So he won't go out there and hurt nothing. You know, give, give him what he want. So he won't go out. You see the variances in what Noble Drew Ali brought and what everybody else brought. Let me ask you this. You know, people say, you know, you went from the Wapu to, you know, you know, from 5% to the Wapu to, you know, more. What, what you got to say about that? Speak I mean, let me, let, me, let, me, let me read the ball. From out of the Moorish Quran, because it, 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 it says it best. I want to do the same, the same format. Five percent, five percent nation of Islam, the Wafu, and then metaphysics. Then I'm home now. You know what I'm saying? I'm home. <laughs> Chapter twenty-six. Holy instructions of unity. This is in the unity chapter. 
The prophet hath declared true wisdom is less presuming than folly. The wise man doubteth often and changeth his mind. The fool is obstinate and doubteth not. He knoweth all things but his own ignorance. Let me, let me, let me read that again. <laughs> true wisdom, true wisdom is less presuming than folly. We take the guesswork out. The wise man doubteth often and changeth his mind. The fool is obstinate. He's stuck. He, even if you show it to him, even if I show you, look, brother, your, your sister, your skin ain't black. Why do you keep saying you have black skin? And doubt it not. He doesn't doubt these things even though he's looking at these things. He's looking at the conditions of his neighborhood every day. He's looking at the condition of his people. But it says he knoweth all things but his own ignorance. So they'll say, man, you need to come back home to Nuwaku, singer. Yo, God, you need to come back home to the Father Sin Nation. Yo, you might need to study the teachings of Elijah Muhammad and give back. It says, know thyself. I mean, it opens up. Know thyself. And the law, it explains to you who a law is. A law is the highest self in man. So the keys ask you, can we see him? No. Where's the closest place that we can meet him? In the heart. You don't have any love. We were not raised in love. So of course you can't see a law. It is impossible. You have blamed somebody else for all of your misdeeds and all of your actions your whole life. And you bred not only the hatred that the, the world heaped upon you, but the inner hatred because you thought that you were something else. And you asked the question, why is this happening to me? Why does this keep happening to my people? That made you hate. Yo, that white man is a devil. Mm -hmm. I hate that cracker. Mm -hmm. The 5% is say, but yo, God, ain't that mystery God worship? How? You have no love. I just read your comments a few lines up and you was like, fuck you, ah. you just cursed me out. Or, or somebody else. That does not sound like love to me. That makes a law a mystery to you. Because the prophet starts the principles off with love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Love is the first principle. And if the closest place that you can meet a law is in the, is in the heart, then that means you need to get to know yourself. Because those answers are not in 120 lessons. They're not in any books. Of course, someone has to come and give you a reminder of what's within. The prophet already did that 97 years ago. Came and gave you a reminder. He put it right in a little pamphlet because he told you in the book, true wisdom is less presuming than folly. Let's kill out all the guesswork. I don't have to guess anymore. Indeed. We are uh, we gonna take a quick break and then we just gonna we gonna start start again or whatever. True, true.